All right, so I'm outside of a 2018 Honda Ridgeline. This is an all-wheel drive RTLT. I'm gonna start you at the back and show you some things. First thing I'm gonna show you is the storage area. Uh, it is lockable, so you'll notice the lock right there. Uh, you have storage down here, and then you'll notice there is a drain tub down there, so you can actually drain this out uh, if you wanna put ice and drinks and things in it. Over to the side, you'll notice I do have some storage here. If you're in the mall above this, it'll actually have a 110 volt uh, charger in there too. Uh, that way, if you need to charge a drill while you're on the way to somewhere or anything like that. So, this is a dual action tailgate. So I can flip it down how you just saw, uh, or I can reach the handle down here to the all-wheel drive sign and flip it out this way too. So that's how this works. Uh, this model is set up with a hitch, uh, and it does have your harness also. So you can see everything's down there and ready to rock. I'm gonna walk you around uh, to the inside of the truck. We'll start you on those back seats. Uh, the back seats do flip up. You'll see I do have the center console down with cups right now. To throw them up, I've got handles right here. Pull them, pop them up, uh, and there you go. You can see my storage area that I got down there, uh, and that's how that works. I'm gonna flip them back down. This model does have uh, AC units in it, in the back, along with you do have a USB down here. So I just want you to know what was going on there. This is a leather uh, interior. Your RTL uh, and above are all gonna have leather. This car does have keyless entry, so I can walk up, just grab the door handle, it'll unlock for me. Uh, it also comes with a remote start. So remote start on this vehicle. I'll show you a couple things here. On your key, you've got lock, unlock, and remote start. To use remote start, you always gotta press and hold, or excuse me, press the lock button and then press and hold the remote start button. That'll fire up the car and it'll run for about 20 minutes. Uh, and afterwards it'll, it'll turn off. If you needed to turn the car because you realize you're not gonna be leaving, you press the unlock button and then press the remote start and it'll turn the car off. So that's how this works. I just wanted you to know what was going on with that because a lot of people aren't familiar with remote start. So let's start over on the left side of the dash and explain the car. Uh, on the left side, I've got auto up down windows on my driver and passenger side. The back windows you gotta hold down. My door locks, my window locks. Over here, I do have my mirror control. So left and right and then adjust on the pad. Down below, you see vehicle stability assist. That works for my traction control. So what that's gonna do is allow me to uh, transfer power to whichever wheel's getting better traction if I go into a skid. My cargo lighting in the back of the car, excuse me, in the bed is right here. Moving up my econ button. If I turn this button on, you'll see that green leaf come on and off right there. When it's on, it's just letting you know you're gonna save as far as gas mileage go. But it's gonna affect your car in ways like uh, the AC unit isn't gonna blow quite as hard. Uh, and then your accelerator, if you smash it, the floorboard isn't gonna take off and go quite as fast. So just be aware of that. Uh, this menu button right here on the steering wheel. So this is gonna toggle between a few different things. So right over here, I'll show you. You can see it's getting you navigation. I can jump over to audio or Bluetooth. So that's what's here, Bluetooth. Yeah. So you can see what's going on here. Uh, so it's just a quick jump. It allows me to jump between the two. Plus and minus are gonna be my volume controls. Left and right is gonna jump between either favorite stations or tracks. Like right now, I've got pulled up on XM and I can jump from from one to two to three to four. And it's also gonna show me up here which ones I'm jumping to so that we can see exactly which preset and it highlights and jumps around. So you can see me moving around there. So that's how this works. Uh, if I have audio pulled up, this is gonna allow me to pull up whatever menu I have available to me from there. So things like a scan, a preset, a, a channel, a category, that sort of thing. Uh, just depending on what menu I pulled up. If I had FM, same idea, just a little bit different. So that's what this does. Down below is my Bluetooth control. So to answer a phone call, to hang up and use voice command. Now this voice command will work for the navigation uh, it'll work for Bluetooth as far as making phone calls. It'll also work when I have, I'm connected up to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto uh, as far as using Siri or OK Google. Uh, so depending on which one you're using. So I'll, I'll come back to that here in a minute. Cruise control settings are over here on the right side. If I've pressed the cruise main, it will stay on. So meaning if I've turned this button on, I get off the car, un, you know, turn it off and walk into the store and come back, it'll be on when I get back in. So you'll notice this car, it's actually on. You can see that green box down there that's lighting up and turning off. That's what that is. Once I have that on, I can just press set to set my speed, cancel, resume. That stuff's pretty self-explanatory. It's in every car ever. Uh, down below that, this is gonna be the menu that shows up. Uh, so if I press this, it's gonna toggle through this menu up here. So you can see things like your tire pressure. Uh, if, if I was navigating my turn-by-turn -turn direction, uh, distance fuel, this is range stuff. This is all tripometer information, uh, trip B. Uh, you know what I mean? If I just want a black screen. So this is just what's going on here. And then to reset your trips, you'll see there's an actually reset button right here. Uh, so that's what's going on from here. So on this left side, I'm gonna show you uh, light-wise, I can set them to auto, which are set to right now, and then my fog lights, I can turn them on and turn them off, so that's what's going on right there. On the tip of the blinker stock, you're gonna notice this button right here. That actually works with uh, the camera that's over off the right side of the car. Uh, so that's gonna be your Honda Lane Watch. Uh, so the red line is the end of my car, red orange is a car length, and orange orange is a secondary car length. So when you're getting off the highway, you don't have to look over your shoulder and away from the road to see who's in your blind spot. Uh, anytime I hit my right blinker, the default is to turn that on, or I can use this button that you can see me pressing over here uh, to turn it on and off as I want. So that's how this works. Over on the left side is going to be your controls for your, uh, your winch wiper. So pull it down and then it's intermittent and that affects the front. So that's what's going on there. This is a remote start vehicle, uh, so you'll notice this. It does have remote start, it has push button start, and then it is keyless entry, uh, so I can walk up and just put my hand on the door handle. Now, 
Moving over uh, to the touchscreen. First thing I'm gonna show you right here is navigation. Navigation is set up through Garmin, uh, so I kinda like it a lot more. It just makes life a little bit easier as far as that goes, where to view, all these things you can save by voice command too. Uh, to the next one, phone, Bluetooth, once you're connected up, that's where you'd go to get it. If you need to connect a phone to Bluetooth, press settings, we're gonna go to phone. From there, we're gonna go to Bluetooth device list, which would be right here. And then from there, I'll be able to add a Bluetooth device. So that's how this works. Just want you to know how to do it in case you need to add a phone. My tripometer information is all gonna be right here. So this is where I can get to some of that info if I want it. Uh, if I just wanna see that on the screen here as opposed to over uh, in the dash. Earlier I was showing that trip info right there. Uh, so that's how this works. Uh, and from that same screen, I can also pull up a, a clock or wallpaper. So I could load up a, a picture through the, J, the USB with it, like a JPEG uh, and put my own photo right here if I wanted to. So that's just what's going on there. Audio wise, all your options. Okay, so source right there will take me to all my audio options. So I've got FM, I've got AM, I've got 90 days of satellite radio. I have USBs that I can plug into like a thumb drive. Uh, pretty much anything with an I.O. plug in and play. Uh, it's same thing Bluetooth wise. Uh, Pandora compatibility, so you can pull it up all on the screen. However, I don't like to use Pandora because it locks up your phone. Uh, I prefer to use just Bluetooth, even if I'm using Pandora off my phone. And that's just because if, I, if I'm waiting on a text to an address or anything like that, it doesn't lock up my phone and prevent me from receiving it. So just a small tip there. Uh, Bluetooth compatibility, like I said, and then you have the, the nine millimeter uh, jack that you can plug into additionally too. Uh, so that's what's going on audio wise in this vehicle. Uh, Honda Link is just gonna allow you to connect up to your phone um, and receive things like maintenance reminders, uh, you know, recall notices, things like that. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are gonna be right here. So this is where you would plug into this USB down here uh, and it'll allow, this will light up and then you could select this and it'll give you access to your, uh, you know, your, your music, your messages, your navigation, things like that. If you're an iPhone user, it gives you Apple Maps. Uh, if you're an Android user, it's gonna give you uh, oh, Google Maps and uh, Waze. My settings are all in here. This is where you can affect things uh, like your door locks, if I go to vehicle, uh, your lighting setup, uh, if you want keyless access as far as like a walkway auto lock. So different things like that are gonna be in here. So my, my door and unlock settings here, walkway auto lock, that's set up to where if I get 10 feet from my car and I have the key in my pocket, it'll automatically lock for me. So that's what this feature is here. And then my door unlock mode, right now it's set to when you get to uh, 10 miles an hour, it'll automatically lock the doors. Uh, and then unlocking, uh, when you open the driver's side door, it'll unlock uh, all the doors. So just so you have an idea for where some of that stuff is. Ace unit is tri-zone, so left, right, and back are controllable. Uh, I have them right synced up right now. I can unsync and then adjust mine. These stay the same. Uh, to jump over to the rear, rear settings, and then I can adjust accordingly. Uh, and I can also lock the back too. So it's just kind of nice if people are messing with stuff. So that's how that works. Heated seats, so my controls are right here for left and right side. Uh, you saw down here I have a power outlet and then a USB. Uh, standard shifter right here with my forward, or excuse me, my overdrive. Uh, I do have some traction functions that I can toggle through. So you'll see there's a normal, a snow, a mud, and sand. So just so you know what's going on there. Inside of here, let me move these keys out of the way. I do have a large center console uh, with a sliding tray. And then I do have another uh, outlet and USB in there. So that's what's going on there. Other than that, this is a leather model since it is an RTLT. Uh, it does come with leather interior, uh, the heated seats, a little bit stronger powered stereo system, uh, auto dimming mirror. You do have a home link so I can control my garage clicker, gate clicker, all that, and then my sunglass holder. So, normal stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the YouTube video. You can call me at 512 443 4300, or you can email me at the letter J and then Fuller, J Fuller, F U L L E R, at howdyhonda.com. Thank you much.